Because this is actual back pain advice, and this is, uh, this is actually a good deal. Um, there's a lot of causes for back pain. There's different causes for it, and it's very likely that you're going to be unable to find somebody professionally or even like even of even finding a personal trainer, but it, let alone a doctor. A doctor is going to have no idea what's causing your back pain. A doctor is going to the only the only thing a doctor can do is uh, the only thing a doctor can do is give you muscle relaxants and recommend surgery and possibly molest you. That's what happened when I had back pain. I went to the doctor. He offered me muscle relaxants. Um, he then said uh, we could do surgery, and then he tried to put his fingers in the um, elastic of my underwear. This is like a regular doctor, okay? And I know, like, I know, like five people in my life, uh, just personally, who I've met over the years. Who some, some I'm close to, and some I'm not. Who have like doctor, like molestation stories, like had their hands on their on their tits for too long. But um, fuck doctors. Doctors have no idea what they're doing, especially when it comes to back pain. So, the the causes it could be. There's a bunch of different things that it could be. It could be not moving. That's like number one. If you sit in a computer chair all day, your back doesn't get circulation the same way the rest of your body does. There's no, uh, as far as I know, there's like very little in terms of capillaries and, and uh, blood flow in your back. It's, a, it's, it actually, the fluid, the like dead, scar, the scar tissue and the dead cartilage and all the junk that accumulates, the way that that gets fleshed out and the way that those joints gets replenished is by mechanical fluid pumping action, AKA walking. So if you're sitting all day, your back is not getting any circulation and you're, all those joints are getting dried out and uh, messed up. And the way, that you, um, the way that you fix that is by walking. So if, you're, if you have really bad back pain, you can actually do yourself more damage by getting too much bed rest. If you lay in bed all day, you can watch your, your situation deteriorate and get worse if you're laying in bed all day. Um, so you got to walk and they'll, if you go to a chiropractor, they even have a machine that moves your legs for you as if you were walking, which I guess is for like really fat people or really lazy people. But you go to the chiropractor and they put you on a machine that makes your legs go like this for 20 minutes to simulate walking. But that, that's how you get that mechanical fluid pump in your back. So you need, you have to have activity. And like, especially if you're in pain, if you're in pain, this is like step one to recovery is is moving uh, and it can just be a light walk start paying attention to how you're walking do you wear heavy boots do you have some kind of weird thing in your gait that throws your like your duck footed or something like something that you can correct do your feet over pronate just just pay attention to what your knees and your feet are doing when you walk and make sure you're not wearing heavy boots make sure you're not stepping heavy if you have a heavy step that's something I don't understand but every girl I've ever seen every girl I've ever met walks like this Like every retarded, boneheaded, hot girl I've ever seen smashes their heels into the, into the floor in a way that I can't believe that a hundred pound person is making this noise. Um, but that'll definitely mess your knees up and mess your back up if you do that. So make sure you have a light step. Um, but step one is movement and my back has never felt healthier than when I was shadow boxing every day. So if you can get in... 30 minutes of jumping around, it might magically make your back start to feel better. Another thing, another thing that's very good is traction. Traction is when you pull your back apart. You do this with inversion, or you can get this thing called the back bubble. Look that up. I had a, I had a back bubble set up on a um, squat rack so I could hang upside down because, the, because I was so heavy that the inversion table was like hurting my ankles. The, the thing about inversion, though, is that it's going to pull your discs apart and you never want to do crunches or do any kind of curling or really any, any sort of motion when, you're, when your spine has been pulled apart. So you go on YouTube and you see people doing inversion and traction and you'll see them doing upside down sit-ups, which is insane because you're, the discs in your back are like uh, ice cream sandwiches. And when you curve your spine like this, when you pull it apart and curve your spine like this, it's all the ice cream, that's your, your annular annular rim, annular disc, and your um, fucking whatever the middle, the jelly goo in the middle of your spinal disc is. I got a zit. Hold on a second. I'll pop it? Yeah, let me just get this here. Ugh! Um, so inversion, 
or a back bubble can be very good, but you have to be very careful when you dismount from your inversion that you don't really do anything other than turn, than shifting your body back to upright and then stand there for five minutes and let your let your spine kind of go back into its normal normal position. Don't do anything like trying to tie your shoes after you do inversion. You'll you'll fucking blow your back right out. Um, another big one is stress. If you have stress in your life, that can actually cause back pain, which is what caused mine for uh, a good period of time. I dated this girl that didn't even know how to boil pasta. Um, and uh, I was this close to getting a domestic. Anyway, caused me a lot of back pain. Um, so yeah, look for stressors in your life. Make sure you're sleeping in a good position. But the point here is that it's a mystery. Nobody's going to be able to tell you, oh, it's, you're doing this. or you have, and, there, and there are personal trainers who they'll look at like the way that your hips are tilted or they'll look at some aspect of your body and they all have their little pet ideas. Like every personal trainer has some pet idea. Like this, the, the last guy I saw, he was, he was big on um, uh, keeping your your rib cage tilted down like this. And that was his, any, anytime one of these personal trainers reads some article and has some success with it, a technique, they'll decide that that technique is the, is the fix for everybody. And it's not. With back pain, there's so many different sources of possible back pain that it's, it's like solving a mystery. Don't get discouraged. Every day you gotta wake up. What am I gonna do to solve my back pain today? There's a new thing I haven't tried. I'm gonna go try this. Make sure you're hydrated. Make sure you're not staying up too late. Staying up late, will, staying up late will destroy your back. Like all these things, all these weird things, there, there, there are sources of back pain that you, you, you wouldn't think, but they're, they're there. If you have a bad diet, all this stuff. Um, don't get the cortisol injection. That'll make your shit weaker. Look up Eric Goodman Foundation Training. That's a good thing to try. Um, do not deadlift. Do not squat. Just don't. It's not, it, you know, listen, there's... There's better ways to, to skin that cat, okay? You can't, um, I know, oh, I read on 4chan Fitness that uh, if you don't squat, you're not a man. Well, you're going to be a very uh, sad man indeed if you're trying to squat to fix your back. Oh, I, when I had back pain, deadlifting fixed it. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, back pain, don't get discouraged. Just every day you wake up, Try something new. Really think about what is happening to your body. Think about, am I staying up too late? Like all the different variables that it could be. It takes time, but you'll identify it eventually. So hang in there, but uh, it is a bitch. Mm. Yeah. That was a nice little ramble. How many, how many did we lose on that one? Uh, we gained like 500. Okay. I think people, I feel like that's more common. Now I'm going to talk about testicular torsion. Okay. Um, 